Hi everybody, welcome to Go Hobby. Look at this fish. This is the long-nosed hawkfish. Long-nosed hawkfish have a distinctive shape, what with their long noses, white bodies, and cross-laced red stripes. They're a fun addition to a saltwater fish-only tank or a reef tank with other peaceful inhabitants. However, you may want to take some caution placing this fish with small hermit crabs or other tiny inverts like worms and feather dusters as well as fish smaller than one-third its size. This hawkfish is a carnivore, and as such it will be in her instinct to go after tiny shrimps, crabs, or fish when tempted. You can feed your long-nosed hawkfish a diet of frozen meaty foods or mysis shrimp. They will also eat flake foods, but I would only do this on occasion. When it's feeding time, you could expect your hawkfish to dart from place to place, gobbling up bits and pieces of food. It's also not uncommon for long-nosed hawkfish to skip out on eating for a day or two. That's nothing to worry about. However, any fish that's not eating for three or more days is something to be concerned about and calls for closer investigation and observation to expose the problem. They are sure to draw a lot of attention with their magnetic personalities. It's fun to watch them perch upon outcroppings of coral, they seem to be just as interested in you as you are of them, and I advise you not to enter into a staring contest. You will not win. Long-nosed hawkfish will spend most of their days perched on coral outcroppings, taking brief swims to change their position or hunt down some food. They are not the most graceful swimmers. When they do swim, they appear to be expending more energy than they need, but this may be due to the fact that they don't have swim bladders and therefore cannot control their buoyancy like other fish. This is also the likely reason as to why they prefer to perch on a rock rather than swim. This fish is not a timid fish, and seems to have no concern about perching on rocks in plain view. I had little difficulty recording this one here. She was also gobbling down frozen food the first day she was transferred into the tank, and swam close to my fingers as I dropped the food. I bet with some patience and practice, I could train her to eat out of my hand. In case you were wondering, this fish comes from the oceans around Central and South America, East Africa, the Red Sea, and the Indo-Pacific. Surprisingly, the long-nosed hawkfish is a naturally nocturnal fish. However, in the aquarium, they seem to forget that and become active under a well-lit aquarium and sleep when the lights go out, as long as feeding time occurs when the tank is lit. Long-nosed hawkfish have been known to reproduce in reef tanks. These fish are hermaphroditic, meaning they all start their lives as females, but then a few within the population will morph into males later in life. Typically in nature, the largest, most dominant hawkfish amongst the population will morph into a male, while all the others will remain female. So, if you have been curious as to why I've been referring to this young hawkfish as a she, now you know. Who knows? In some time, she may become a he, and I will have to change how I refer to her, or him. Well, you get the idea. Now, the long-nosed hawkfish is a great fish for the first-time hobbyist, as they seem to be a bit more tolerant of variations in water quality, and they tend to be a bit more disease-resistant, and don't seem to be bothered much by other more active tank inhabitants. Here are the water parameters you will want to pay attention to. Now, if you wish to see more videos like this one, in which I showcase other reef-friendly fish, please take the time to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time on Go Hobby.